Hey everyone, Remy the Minx here. I, as you know, am a funny person and I've dabbled in some stand-up comedy over the years and I found my first ever stand-up material notes that no one ever saw this show because I was so nervous. I didn't want any friends to come or take pictures. I just wanted to get it over with, which is the very first um, time you do comedy, you're kind of like, it's a mess. And it was a bit of a mess. It wasn't, it was all right. I read from my notes and um, anyway, so I'm going to read them to you now because no one has ever read these, all right? What's, <laughs> what's the deal with crazy girls, right? And baths? I had a bath earlier, even though my ride was about to show up. So I'm on a new show on MTV called Creeps. They're going to make me look fucking retarded. It's on Tuesday. Ugh. So I didn't think many people would come tonight because I'm not taking my clothes off. 9021, no, right? Nod. So why do all the white guy comedians dress like slobs? Like you're crashing on your friends' couches permanently. Oh, it's because you are. So I'm like a famous blogger. I prefer the internet, I think, because I can control more people in a shorter period of time that way. And I talked about being a black sheep. I know, look at me, right? I'm the bad girl. Ooh. Okay, so I've pretty much done it all. I've done a little of everything and a lot of nothing. I guess apparently eating pizza and living like a frat boy smoking weed all day long isn't a skill. That may be so, but it sure is marketable in the form of crap o blog attainment. There was a brief, long period when I did not smoke weed, and that is the time I call the five years that I drank. I'll show you, Ramey Winehouse. I like to think that I'm a lot funnier now thanks to weed. When I drank, I was like angry, mean, funny. Now I'm just retarded funny. I got more done back then, but now I get to do less because I'm more famous. I mean, hotter. That's a thing I like to call beauty currency. Do not ask an ugly chick what that means because she will not know. One time after I got out of the hospital, they had me back to see how I was doing many months later. And the doctor told me that for my two week stay, uh, my cannabis levels were through the roof. This is why I don't blog these jokes. I looked at him and asked, what? He said, they were the highest blood level concentration that he had ever seen. Where is my medal? Wait, hang on. One, where is my medal then? And two, ha -ha, highest. Yeah, that joke wasn't funny. <clears throat> I just got that pun today. Writing material in my salon chair while my roots processed. So I'm happy to say that I am 420 friendly and glad that they've just uncovered that marijuana smoke does not affect your lungs after all. I sent that to my dad. I'll sit on it for an opportune time before sending it to my mom. So when I drink, I get really high-pitched, uh, whiny girl and lispy. I talk like a Jewy from the Valley rich bitch, which is funny because the other half of the time, I try to project an image of street tough, a little more tomboyish than the girly girl. So maybe it's safe to say that I'm half man, half woman. Lunge forward menacingly. Okay, these jokes aren't funny. Do you ever just stare at people? <laughs> I like, okay, this is good. I like, ugh, I should start all over again.